Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation and hopefully you're following us and you're already a subscriber. If not, you should become one because you'll learn about marriage like you never have before. We're different. This topic is my husband and I speak different languages. Now, I'm not sure whether you're talking about um, Yugoslavian and German or you're talking about different languages, meaning you're not on the same page when you're speaking. But this video is going to be good either way, either way, because it, it allows me, this topic allows me to get into marriage in a way where it's literally much more important for you in terms of understanding what marriage is. You see, there's not an understanding of marriage. If you were to look it up, you would find out that the commonly held definitions of marriage are very mundane. They're material. It's like it's a unity between two people who agree to live together until they get a divorce or, or death do they part. And they don't get into what marriage is really about. If you understood marriage, when you met your soulmate, because you did, you're married to your soulmate and your husband, of course, he's going to speak a different language, even if it's the same language, because he's a man. But even if he weren't a man, even if you had a same sex marriage, people hear things, say things, see things in accordance to how they choose to see, hear, and say. You see, we have this beautiful gift called free will, and we use it. Now, we use it unconsciously. We don't think, well, I should see this in a positive way. Oh, I should say this in a way where he understands me. I should pay attention to him because I'm not sure if he's going to communicate to me in a way that I understand. We don't do that. Simple little steps in communication can help you with that. So, for instance, if you say something to your husband and you could see it's like he's rolling his eyes or maybe he's looking away like he doesn't hear you, you go, honey, I'm not sure if I communicated that very well. Can you, I know it's a pain in the butt, but could you just tell me what you heard me say? Shockingly, you will find out that it was probably nothing like what you had intended to say. It's true. You know, I used to be a divorce mediator be, before I became a marriage helper over 20 years ago. And I can tell you communication's a big problem. It is. Now, the essence of good communication is being on the same page. And that's what I want to talk to you about now. I want to talk to you about what marriage is really all about. Marriage is about two soulmates who have discovered one another and together, but individually, you both want to realize two things. One, happiness. You got married to be happy. And the other, which will bring plenty of happiness, is love. You want to learn how to love your husband unconditionally. We never talk about that in the world because the world doesn't believe in love. They talk about love, but they don't believe in it. They think it just is something, a special kind of like, an increased liking, but it isn't. It's deep. You know, when you go to a wedding or when you look at your kids and you, and, and you just feel this surge of energy coming from your heart, it could make you cry and everything. That's love. That's the real deal. And guess what? You're supposed to be experiencing that with your husband all the time, all the time, which is why many people have subscribed to this channel so they could learn these things. Other people get one of my books, some people take the course, but the point is you got to learn this stuff because it isn't taught. And the other thing, of course, is learning how to master your mind. Because, you, you know, no one can tell you what to do. No one could tell your mind what to do until you 
systematically take control over it so you're not beaten up by your emotions, your inner reactions, your instincts, and all of that. There's a lot to learn. So hopefully this helps you. You and your husband speak different languages, no problem. But you're supposed to live your marriage on the plane of the deepest love and the deepest joy. And then the language won't matter all that much. Won't. Now, if you've been following and you want to become a TMF marriage counselor, and that's all we do, we don't do therapy and stuff like that, then we're setting up a course now where you can learn how and you could become one of us. And I welcome you to check that out. My name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And I welcome you to visit anytime, all the time. And you could write in, check out our website. God bless you. Thank you for visiting. I hope I see you again. Take care.